Hello. Today we're going to provide a high-level overview of laptop management powered by Manage 360 and IBM Endpoint Manager. I've already logged onto the portal itself, and as you can see from the multicolored boxes, in my Alert Center, I have a number of different queries on these devices. For your portal, you can add, change, or delete these queries very easily without knowing SQL and also have the results sent to you as an email on a daily or weekly basis. So now you're asking, how do I enroll my device in your portal? If you go up to Devices, click on Enrollment, you can add a device, and you can either tie this into an AD or LDAP or use a localized uh, repository of names and email addresses. So I'm just going to go look for my name. It fills in the blanks. I go over to Advanced. I select the platform, anything from iOS through Windows. I click on Windows, which is the laptops, and I send the request to the individual. The individual would, would receive an email very similar to this. They would see a URL, corporate identifier, and a passcode, and they would follow the directions after opening up the URL. So, assuming the individual has followed all the directions, you'll see a device has been enrolled. And we'll go take a look at the devices right now. And we'll select a Surface Pro 2 running Windows 8.1. Laptop management isn't specifically designed for only supporting uh, Windows 8 or 8.1. We also very easily support uh, Windows 7 in the 32 or 64 bit version and it can also run on XPSP3 however that is no longer supported by Microsoft. Regardless of the platform the information is similar and the workflows are consistent. So I've clicked on uh, the Surface Pro 2 and as you can see there's a lot of good information here. We also provide a lot of other additional information on hardware inventory, network information, uh, location information, software installed, and you can see on the software installed, especially on the Windows 8 and 8.1, we're looking at and defining two different types of software applications, one being the standard Win32 and the other being the store apps, which are uh, in the new touchable screen. Along with all the other information, or along with the uh, encyclopedia of information, we have quite a number of actions on these devices. You can send a message to these, these devices. You can locate the device. You can lock it. You can start, stop, or restart different services. You don't need to know the service name. Uh, all the known services on this individual device are actually displayed for you. You can point and click on any one of them and do a stop, start, or a restart. Along with this, we have quite a number of reports that, are, that come standard with uh, laptop management. We have over here on the PC side uh, our overviews. And all, all of our uh, reports start off with charts and graphs and go into detail reports, and every one of them can be uh, exported. Or you can set this up as a subscription where you can receive this information on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. So on the report side, we have uh, different security information on the devices. Everything goes back down to summary charts and detail charts. You have patch information. How many, how many devices are missing critical patches? Here's your total number of missing patches. Device summaries and then detail reports on the individual devices, what it is missing. And you have Windows application updates in the same fashion. So both patches and Windows application updates, that information is originating from IBM's Endpoint Manager and it is brought into the Mass360 portal itself. That being said, we have a method to identify patches that are outstanding, find out more information on these patches, You can also open up a, an additional window 
to find out detailed information from Microsoft on the individual patches themselves. And then you can also deploy and check the status of the patches that are sent to the uh, devices themselves. Getting back over into the reports, we are looking at uh, different security pieces. Uh, what's happening on, the, on these devices? Who has encryption installed, antivirus, personal firewall? We break this down at an individual device level and then bubble it up at a company level. One last report is Windows 7 and 8 readiness. If you're trying to move from one version to the other, you're able to see which devices are ready or not ready. And then you can create different project plans around this information and, and use time efficiently during this upgrade. So overall, the Mass360 portal is very easy to maneuver around, identify the different devices, see what's happening on these devices, and then take actions again, uh, to them, even finding out where this device is located at any time. It may take a moment when you're going out looking for the device, especially on a laptop or desktop because there's no uh, GPS. But as you can see right here, this is, a, this is where this device is located today. So that's all we have today. Hopefully you find this interesting and informative and are able to easily use Maz360. As time progresses, we'll be adding additional content from IEM or IBM's Endpoint Manager and expanding the application or expanding the self-service patching uh, for the individual devices. Thank you.